And I'm guessing uh, Gutted doesn't just quite cover it for you. I mean, how are you feeling? Don't really know what to say to you, to be honest. I'm absolutely gutted. Um, thought this was going to be a good night to, to push on to a big year next year. Obviously, it still is, but it's not the result that we wanted. Technical draw because of a cut. Um, it's frustrating. What do you remember of, of what actually happened? It was, a, it was a nasty clash of heads, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, I, li- I come out in the first round, I had a little look at him, threw a few jabs. Second round, got into a bit of a flow. Third round, again, I wanted to go back to have a look at him. He was coming on strong and I, I, was, I was touching and moving. I lost my shape a little bit and I was, I was looking forward to resetting at the end of the third and uh, getting back to, to Dave's instructions in the fourth. But, you know, right at the end of the fourth round, um, I lifted up a little bit. He was coming in with his head. And uh, I had my chin tucked down and he clashed heads right on the top of the head. Um, a really deep cut right on the scalp and, uh, you know, blood started pouring. It wasn't in a really bad place in terms of, of it getting into the eyes or anything like that. It was just the fact that it was so deep and, and really flowing was was a real problem, wasn't it? Yeah, it was so deep. It was flowing. Uh, blood was squirting out everywhere. I begged and pleaded with the ringside doctors to get you know, one more round because obviously I know after four rounds it goes to the scorecards. I knew, you know, I was I was winning the round, so it's frustrating to to come out with that draw. But you know, it's just delayed the plans. I was meant to be fighting in January. This was a run out. I was meant to fight in January for the European title. It's probably gonna have to be pushed back another month. But I'm still here. That's frustrating in itself, but but like we were just talking to your, your trainer, Dave, you were saying you're kind of lucky in a way this didn't happen in a fight like that, like a European title fight. That's it. So there's two positives you can take. One positive is that, you know, I made some mistakes and I'm better off learning on the mistakes in a fight like this than I am in a championship fight where it can cost me even more. Um, and the other positive is that the cut is where it is because if it was on my face I probably would have had surgery that's how deep it is or you know I would have been out a long long time but you know right on top of the head I can get back to sparring in probably a few weeks and uh, push on for next year as you say up until that point it looked as this th- as those things were going well for you you were you were in control yeah I mean I felt I felt all right in the first couple of rounds um I started to to stand a bit too much in the third round but you know I was it's, it's an eight round fight and I was, I was looking forward to it going the distance to be honest and getting the rounds on another belt just got to put it down to another experience haven't you and uh, hopefully hope for better in the not too distant future what else can you do <laughs> we wish you the best of luck Jordan thanks very much indeed for coming out and speaking to us much appreciated thank, thank you, you.